This is the smartest port in the world. It's located 60 kilometers away from downtown Tianjin, a coastal metropolis southeast of Beijing. China operates more than 34 major ports and 2,000 minor ports across the country. But there's something unusual about this port. On the surface, it looks like any other shipping harbor, filled with cranes and containers. But here's the catch. It's very rare to find employees working on the ground. Instead, this terminal is fully automated using 5G, cloud computing, AI, and robots to operate the entire workflow. This is Terminal C of the Tianjin port, and this is the story of how China built the world's first smart, zero-carbon shipping terminal. China is the manufacturing hub of the world, with over 70% of countries now counting China as its top trading partner. But three years of zero COVID has disrupted supply chains and led to a labor shortage in the port industry. But China has a plan to turn things around. According to this article from Bloomberg, China is investing in future technologies like robots and AI to reduce labor needs, improve safety, and create a more sustainable port operation that will become a model for the world to follow. Yang Jiemin, the vice president of the Tianjin Port Group stated, all ports globally should move toward being more intelligent, eco-friendly, and efficient. So how did China do it? Well, it starts with an investment in technology. Huawei is one of China's leading tech companies, but has come under intense pressure from US sanctions in recent years. But despite these sanctions, Huawei is pivoting to new industries, and this project in Tianjin has become a new priority for Huawei, who is now seeking to tap into a global smart port market expected to reach $11.5 billion by 2030. Let's first explain why smart ports are needed. This Bloomberg article from last month shows one of the biggest problems currently facing the industry. Labor disruptions at world ports quadruple as discontent grows. Finding reliable workers is a problem for seemingly every industry after COVID. Shipping hubs from Europe to Asia experienced major staffing problems as unions battled growing inflation and stagnant wages. Even the US was not exempt from these problems. When the worst of the pandemic hit, several California ports started operating 24-7, but it still didn't solve the problem because there simply wasn't enough workers. Let's take a closer look at the port in Tianjin. Currently, the port operates a fleet of 76 fully automated driverless vehicles. If the port operated 24-7, each truck would require three shifts and three drivers, resulting in a workforce of at least 228 drivers alone. At traditional ports, all equipment in every vehicle require a driver, but the Tianjin port has been operated since October 2021 without a single driver. This has saved the port millions in labor costs, but also provides other huge benefits. In doing my research for today's video, I was shocked to learn that most ports around the world still rely on manual scheduling. This requires hours of manual planning instead of having an AI computer plan out the entire operation in just a few minutes. And here's a stat that will absolutely blow your mind. With Huawei's intelligent planning, the capacity of a single vessel is shortened from 20 hours of manual planning to 10 minutes of intelligent planning. When you consider the Tianjin port processes more than 21 million cargo containers a year, ranking it within the top 10 busiest ports in the world, it's easy to see how much time and money this port is saving by operating as a smart port. Another advantage in building smart ports is the reduction of errors and increase of safety. A traditional port has over 800 workers with most of them on the ground loading and unloading containers and moving them around the facility like a giant Tetris puzzle. Most accidents at traditional ports are the result of human error. But remember, the Tianjin smart port doesn't have a single person on the ground. Loading and unloading containers? That's done with robots and machines. Moving containers from point A to point B? This is done through 5G-powered automated vehicles. By removing human drivers from the equation, the Tianjin port has become one of the smartest and safest ports in the world. It also greatly reduces the need for human staff. Smart ports require only 25% of the human workforce of a traditional port, and most of these employees are located in air conditioning offices and simply manage the entire port's operation through their computer screens. By embracing technology and improving logistics, the automated system of the Tianjin port can process process up to 36 containers per hour compared to only 28 containers per hour at a conventional terminal. Once again, with the Tianjin port processing more than 21 million cargo containers a year, this is a substantial increase in port efficiency. Overall, the Tianjin port has been a great case study for China as the terminal has been in full operation for the past 16 months. This port is the first in the world to combine 5G and level 4 autonomous driving together in a large-scale commercial operation, and now the Tianjin port is ready to export 
its successful model across the globe. Just last month, the Tianjin Port Group, along with Huawei, announced that they will continue their cooperation and build a digital twin of this exact Tianjin Port. The hope here is that this new project will be a model for upgrading and transforming existing terminals worldwide. Once again, Yang Jiemin, the VP of the Tianjin Port Group, shared his insights in a recent press conference. These innovations being used at the Port of Tianjin are having a huge impact on the port industry, creating new value for ports by improving operating environments, driving green and low carbon and development and increasing operational efficiency. We believe that these practices will promote the intelligent development of the global port industry. As we all know, ports remain an integral part of our global supply chain, and the Tianjin Smart Port has proven to be an excellent case study of automation for the world to follow. This is one of the primary reasons that I closely follow the technology coming from China and run a dedicated YouTube channel focusing on China. I truly believe that China is inventing technologies that have the power to change the future of our world. Currently, the US and China are locked in an intense battle and experiencing some of the highest tensions in decades, but I'm going to end today's video revealing to you the most important stat you need to remember. Despite everything you hear in our media, the US-China relationship is a lot healthier than most people think. Imports and exports of goods between our two countries hit $690 billion last year. These robust figures run counter to the talk that these two world's largest economies are on track to decouple. The port of Tianjin maintains trade with more than 500 ports across more than 180 countries around the world. With this incredible reach, it's inevitable that some products made in China are processed through the Tianjin port before before sailing across the Pacific Ocean to be delivered to our stores here in the United States. Ports are one of the world's most important pieces of our global supply chain, so let's learn to embrace technology and work together to create a culture of cooperation and collaboration that will benefit humanity. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's deep dive into this amazing project from both the Tianjin port and Huawei Technologies. I'm absolutely fascinated by the technology that China is developing because, again, I really truly believe that it has the power to help change our world, and this is something that all of us around the world should be looking into. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, I hope you hit the subscribe button and drop me a comment down below. I'm looking forward to bringing you more insights into China and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video here on YouTube.